Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to some more CO Ramo World of Shipping. We are done with the tutorial finally. It was kind of long, actually. There's a lot there. I don't remember how much. Well, I don't want to say I don't remember. I don't know how much I am going to remember of the tutorial. So we got to figure out that portion of it. We'll get there, right? But it showed off a lot of the cool new aspects of, I won't say new aspects, but the management styles of this game compared to what we've had with the Transocean series. So now it's time for us to kind of get in into the nitty gritty here. And we're going to be playing against other AI companies, which is according to the tutorial considered competitive mode. Uh, so I don't know why they wouldn't just put that name in here, but it is what it is. I don't think there's any multiplayer and this is just AI companies. Maybe down the road they'll introduce multiplayer. I don't, it's just, who knows? Uh, I'm going to say probably not, but I don't, I don't want to say that for sure. So let's go in and play competitive mode. All right, here we are. Play against other AI companies and try to be better, smarter, and quicker in taking decisions. Remember, every choice counts. All right, win conditions. Be the last company with ships in the world or reach the required ranking points set at the beginning of the game. Losing, you are in a situation with no ships and in debt at the beginning of the month. So apparently ranking points isn't a win condition. Um, interesting, but we can set the points. Um, we'll start with 5,000 since that's what it is. Um, easy, we get 100% contract bonus. Um, first free ship is for, yes, tar, no, uh, we'll just do medium. All right, we'll just we do medium. The starting funds kills us, but you know, and hopefully the, hopefully the opponents aren't too difficult. But you know, hey, if we fail, we fail. And, you know, we'll, we'll learn our life lessons and we'll start another company, right? So for now, uh, let's go back to the iVision Transport Company. Is that too long? Can we, can we do that? Nope, we can. Oh, hmm. Uh, let's let's do this. Actually, I Vision International. That's what we want. We like that better. There we go. All right, let's start it. We're gonna keep it with. Five. Uh, I want four. No, five. Five just seems like a lot. Let's do four. I don't. I'm actually curious at how many shipping companies there are in the world. Is there is there a lot or no? I don't know. Hmm. I wonder what the competition is. You know. Hmm. I have to do some research again on that type of stuff. But anyhow, let's go in and start it. All right, well, we need to select our starting point, our starting port. Um, I feel like Houston would be good or Savannah. LA, just LA, you can hit China. But I kind of want to hit these over here. Uh, New York wouldn't be too bad. It's a D though, but like, eh. All right, I think we're gonna be good. We're gonna use uh, the port of New York and New Jersey as our starting position. I think that'll be fine. Here is our first a free ship. We get a bulk carrier. I don't think there's anything else we can choose. Nope. All right, so we're back to selecting the same stuff. I don't, as far as customization goes, I want us to be the red. Uh, I like the black there. I still wanna go with the white deck, but I think from here, I, I, I don't like those. In that color, uh, should we have yellow? <laughs> Man, that would be something. Um, they need to be seen, right? So we'll use like a light gray, and then we'll change these guys. It'd be kind of cool if you had like the color wheel, but it is what it is. And I don't it just isn't many. We'll do the light gray, and then we got the upper hall, which is the red. So yeah. We are good there. There is our first bulk carrier, the Panamax. Very nice. Very nice. What do we get off of here or something? All right, let's buy it. We've got it. We have our first ship. It's the bulk carrier. Okay, we need to go into the contracts. Where are the contracts? Do 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 do. They're down here. That's chartering. We ain't chartering our our boat. We need to buy hire a crew. That's right. All right, let's hire the crew. Um, <laughs> Muhammad Bakari, Muhammad Badar, 
Omawumi Omoara, Caden Samar Samra, Ibiuya Emmanuel. Oh man, I'm just butchering names here. Nigerian, Saudi Arabian, Libyan, Tanzanian. Oh, I mean, how did they come up with the names? It's just amazing. There's just so much variation here. Ah oh, man, okay. Let us go in and hire. I mean, we want somebody with experience, right? But maybe not. Two, I mean, two years and four years. Yeah, let's. All right. You're hired. 12 months. All right. The chief mate. Let's go and do it. They're doing basically everything we just did in the tutorial <laughs> all over again. Uh, I don't know if I like that or not. But uh, Yasin Aluku, Christina Vargas. Yeah. Hmm. All right. And now we've got the chief engineer. Very crucial. Very crucial that these engines keep moving. I don't know if we're going to be really hit with stuff too problematic in that first year. So I think I would be okay. It's amazing that we have an American ship. But we don't have any American. I haven't seen any Americans to hire. So that is very interesting. Okay, let's hire that. Yeah, because they're all kind of the same. The electrotechnical. This guy's very important. Very important, but they're all the same. Thomas, Armando, Diego, Ahmad, Fatima, Fatima. Oh man, just I think it just doesn't matter. And Chief Stewart. Now this one is the very, very important one. So we want someone with experience. Asanka, I like you because I think you can provide the most humbling abodes and food. All right, there we go. Our ship is loaded and ready to go. Let's go over to the contracts. That is good to go. So here we are. Oh boy, that would be terrible. Um, I don't. I forget the eco rating. Um, but yeah. Man, all of these are super far. Whoa! Could you imagine doing that one? Oh, that would be insane. And we could go down to the port of Tampa. It's not really that much. But we could go from like the port of Tampa up to. Ah, oh, we can't. We ain't gonna fit it in. We can only go one place here to start. And I'm feeling the UK in the port of Aberdeen. So let's acquire that contract. Good. All right. Get it out of here. Get out of here. All right. Get going. Do your thing. Are you loading up? Waiting for commands. Yeah, load cargo. Cargo load. <laughs> could you imagine if you could just give it voice commands like that? Um, yeah, like what commands are you waiting for? Like, just take off. Take off. Pause the game when a ship is idle. Yes, but you're not idle, right? Like you're waiting for commands. I've already told you your command. Oh, we got to start the contract. That's right. Okay. Anyhow, we can go into the advanced tab now. Uh, so that's good. Uh, we should probably pause, right? Because that contract is moving, uh, which is crucial, right? We don't want that to be moving. Uh, so let's go in here. I forgot we need to start the contract. But I wanted to see what this is. Uh, 20 days. Uh, interesting. The Port of Aberdeen. We're going to increase the speed to 12 knots. It's going to use a little bit more, but it'll be fine. 48 days days to deliver oh 22 okay yeah yeah we're good okay so that's all good 12 knots will be the speed we'll start the contract all right there we go now they are off to the races they're loading at the port of new york and at new jersey i like that could we zoom in yeah we can like this is the best that we can do but we could see what's going on in the background. I like that the time doesn't pause either when we're in these menus. I, I, yeah, I like that because I can quickly pause it while I'm just doing my thing. So yeah, I'm not concerned about that at all. At all. Uh, we can see the contracts that they have in the port, which will be good uh, when we get there because we're going to have to figure that next portion of our trip out. Oh man, we only we don't have much money. Let's go, Mr. Bulk Carrier. Plus, over here, we can do a lot of short little trips, which I like. And it doesn't require us to fuel up. I think that's the uh, that's the nice thing there. Uh, so we'll just speed up time. 
so that way we can go, right? Like there's nothing really crazy going on. We can take a look at the global events. No global events, that's good. We got strikes, we got port events, epidemics, wars, and economic growth, which are all very important. Um, we don't need to turn off. Oh, wow. Uh, there's a fuel price range and it is very high in Aberdeen. Go figure. <laughs> Go figure. I feel like it was, oh man. That's almost double what they're paying in, in Belfast. What is going on there? Holy cow. Uh, that's, it is what it is. We got map overlays. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. It looks, that's neat. I like this. I like this overlay much better than the other one. Like this one just, I mean, it's cool, but like, give me this one. I like this one. Definitely a little, probably a little bit more re intensive on the resources, but hey, it's cool. This is, this is what I'm all about, right? All right, Buster Panamax. There's really, it's competitive, but I don't feel like there's a, a story, which is totally fine. We don't need a story, I guess. The Panamax bulk carrier has arrived at the port of Aberdeen. There she is. Okay, beautiful. So she unloaded the cargo and she paused the game. Uh, so that is good. We can now go to the logs and kind of see. Whoops, that's not the logs. It's shaped like a log. Where are the logs? It's under operations. Here we go. Yeah, there you go. So we unloaded the cargo. She's only two months old of a ship, so that's beautiful. Our daily cost, though, is $10,000. That's not, not great. Quality of living. You can see what we what we got going on there. We got, I've got an infirmary on board. Morale is... Yeah, I don't understand. It's, just, it's not. Uh, they're all just rolls. I wish it gave us in this menu. Whoops. Like we could see if it gave us like an indication of like who wasn't happy on the ship. Uh, it says auto refill to 49%. No, you will not auto refill. I'm sorry. The ship does not auto refill. <laughs> no, 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 no. We have enough tons. We'll figure it all out. We need to go to contracts. Okay. We need to get some contracts, uh, but we're not filling up in expensive ports. We're going to manage that very, very closely. Uh, so anyhow, new contract. What do we got here? I wish that we could, we can kind of see just by kind of hovering over where, oh, there it is. Did you see that one? That one there is pretty good. The port of Rotterdam and the fuel is probably pretty pretty solid um the port of telling the car we got to go back down to and telling like this one might not be so bad because we could probably get there yeah we could definitely probably get there because we're going that way so we could grab yeah i think that's what we'll do Okay, so we'll grab, what was that? The Port of Rotterdam, right? I think that's what it was. Yeah, Port of Rotterdam. So that'll bring us down. I actually just want to check the map once. Oh yeah, because it brings us down here. And then we go up to Tailene, which was over yeah, here. And then if we put fuel prices on, 461. And we're at what? 540 there. 540 there. So yeah, Tallinn has has a decent. It's cheaper. It's not much cheaper, but it's definitely cheaper. So hopefully we got enough fuel we can get there. If we don't, we'll we'll figure it out. We'll we'll fuel up a little bit there. Um, but yeah, in Rotterdam. So yeah, that's what that's what the, we're gonna do. We're gonna grab grab the one to Rotterdam, and then hopefully we got enough cargo space actually it doesn't tell us that here oh yeah it does right here cargo okay we're good it does tell us so rotterdam if we add this in that's 24 tons so yeah we'll acquire that one so there we go so it's 25 it's what it puts it at and then if we can grab the tailing one where are you here you are 67 oh my god we can't do that one 
We couldn't even do that one if we wanted to. All right, whatever. We're just going to the Fort of Rotterdam. We screwed up. Yeah, I like that you can't acquire it if it's overweight. There's a strong possibility of piracy. Oh, what are we carrying? Well, I'm stone, huh? You will be charged canal transit fees. Oh, that's cool. That is, that's neat. All right, so we're going to go ahead to the Port of uh, Rotterdam. That's just, it is what it is. Let's start the contract and uh, yeah, just go from there. Yeah, I should have thought about that. Shortage, a shortage of cargo is reported. Some investigations are to be held. What? Was that a global event? Here's our global economy. That's good, I guess. Hmm. We need to look into this uh, deck equipment. Window glasses. Damage to the deck equipment due to lack of maintenance. What? All right. That is good. What? What's, what are these? What's going on here? A shortage of cargo is reported. Yeah, I want to see more details about these though. They just come up and go. Like I, I want to see more. Tell me more about that. I'm confused. Like, why would you not give me more information about those things? Hmm. Yeah, like it just it just doesn't tell us anything. There's a, there's a problem with the ship. I get it, but like, tell me more about these problems. Because it what it just kind of go, comes and goes so quickly, uh, which I just don't like. Okay, anyhow, whatever. We got to deal with it, right? Uh, here we are, the average eco rating of our company. Yes, we have a we have a pretty solid eco rating, by by all means. All right, let's see where is our fuel level at. We're at it's uh, 451 tons. We we got pretty good good fuel capacity. Uh, just trying to. Get into the Port of Rotterdam here. Come on. Tell me how much fuel costs. Whatever. You know, we could. 540. That's what we figured. I wonder if the fuel adjusts. I hope it does. But we'll, we'll find out. At any rate. We need to head back. Yeah, we don't want to go under there. I kind of want to keep the ship in this area. And not so much the... Uh, Asia area. We'll get another ship that can handle Asia side. But I want to kind of keep this one in the uh in the Europe, South America, Africa region. But we might not have a choice. Man. 280s like we can't even Doo -doo. I was looking at oh, its fuel rating. Ton weighting is over here. Man, I didn't I just was I totally missed that in the last one. Okay. Whatever. I was not even paying attention. Anyhow, we were over eight. Wait, anyhow. Weight is over here for the tons. This is the fuel that's required. So we have 450 something, 460, I think. Uh, so yeah, we're totally fine. All right, so we just need to figure out then where we're gonna go here. So not there. I mean, we could head down to San Lorenzo, but we don't have, at the end of the day, we just don't have capacity to take both of those we need a bigger ship our ship is just uh the port of seattle is out uh so at this rate we want the higher paying contract so that'll be good so let's acquire that let's increase our speed again i think that'll be fine fuel wise we'll probably be okay as well all right actually and that wasn't even changing our speed there we got to change our speed over here so this is where we change our speed. Hmm. At our current speed, you will run out of fuel. <laughs> That's not good. We don't want to run out of fuel. No, nope. we're in a hurry, but we're in not that much of a hurry. Right? Like that's, I mean, it's not great. We're, we're kind of, we should probably increase our speed a little bit more, especially for a carry like this. But well, I think we'll be okay. Fuel capacity, we're fine. Storage, we're fine. We're good here. Type, we've got cables. We're taking cables. All right, whatever. We could stop at a port to fuel up. Um, right, we could move it to a different port. We don't want to do that. We just kind of want to keep moving. With the current speeds, you will need to. What? Uh-oh. All right, we're going to have to slow down. We'll have to slow down. Apparently, we'd run out of fuel. Nobody told us that. 
Makes sense though. 427, that's not bad. If we can get there, we can fuel up, which will be good. Um, yeah, and we got plenty of time to get, get it there, so I, I like it. The Panamax bulk carrier has left the port. Yes, it has. Leave the port. And look at it, it's gonna transit through this little portion here. Like it. Yeah, we can't really, this is where I guess like the customization of our ship doesn't matter, right? Like what we do to that doesn't matter because we're so focused on the management aspect. We're not looking at the nitty gritty of our ship, right? We can't go in and do what we need to. All right, whatever. Yeah, we don't need to pick a color for this one. It's fine. What's, uh, what's this? Doesn't really tell us. Hmm. Okay, whatever. It's fine. Just come on, Mr. Hey, there's another company. That's cool. We can see our, our competitors as well, it looks like. So that's neat. Uh, hopefully our competitors aren't. We're rank number two. We could see where we fit in this all by our companies here. And Cascaden is uh, is actually a three star. So yeah, how oh, nice. And uh, yes, yeah, so even here, the company log doesn't tell us what happened on those other journeys. I just, yeah, I, it is what it is. Global events, what do we got for a global event? A major accident was announced at the Port of Santos. An automobile fell off the dock and delays are reported. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Crane mail, me mechanical failure at the Port Said causes delays. Oh boy. I mean, those are very realistic, right? Like we can have strikes in LA going on, like all sorts of stuff can happen. Uh, so yeah, it's very realistic on what could potentially be happening at these ports. All right, Mr. Buddy, come on. 483, 472, that's not bad. I don't, I'm not hundred percent sure that the prices change or not though. I, I, we haven't figured that out yet. I think eventually the longer we'll, we play, we might be able to catch on to that type of stuff. There is a storm here off the coast. Off the coast of South America. Wow, there's a lot of storms. Very dangerous through here. Again, I wish we could manipulate this line, right? To go around here. But we'll see, we'll see what happens. All right, come on. Let's go get that ship there. There's our competitors. They're doing some long journeys too. Some real long journeys. I'm moving forth now. <laughs> a shortage. A shortage of cargo is reported. What? Yes, we know about the shortage. At least we think we do. Anyhow, okay. So we're good here. Fuel is 472. So we need to fuel up because that was our or yeah, we're we're not great. All right, you will pay. Holy camoys. That is so expensive for that fuel. All right. So we're up to 536 tons. That cost us a pretty penny. <laughs> wow. That was, uh, oh, that was not, not great. Okay. Um, the port of, oh, I can't, affiliation required. Oh, a charter contract. Interesting. Okay. The Port of Prius, that's going up there. Yeah, we don't really want to go that way. No, we definitely don't want to do that. Oh, I don't like this. Could we? Hmm. Trying to think of what we could do. What could we really do to get more? Because this is just the eco rating on that is not great. I mean, we could move the ship. We could move the ship. That's, I mean, that is a thought. We could, we could, we could. We could move to this port. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to move up to the port of... Uh, what was that port again? Port of Paranagua. All right. Let's see the port of Paranagua. There we are at the stop. And go. All right. That's what we're going to do. 
we'll have it just kind of head up, head up the coast, which is never good, right? Like when we're, when we're going back empty, that's never a good sign because it's a loss of money. But we did bump our rank up all the way up to number one. So, hey, that is something good, right? That's a manipulating the sea is what we're doing there. But yeah, manipulation. Okay, here we are. We're in the port. So let's see what we got here. This is where we could head up to like the port of LA and stuff, which would be good. Like I wouldn't say it's good. I mean, it's a whole month, which is not good. <laughs> Oh, we got the Port of Houston even, like we could do. That would be good. Uh, we got a couple of Port of Houstons. Just, ah, we just need a bigger carrier, honestly. But we just do. We just need a little bit more space, but yeah, this would be good. Port of Houston, acquire. We don't have space. Like it's, We just got a small ship. It's a tiny little thing. Just a tiny little guy. That's nothing. He's working hard, though. All right, 11. I think we're good. What's the fuel prices here? 517. I guess we could buy more fuel here since it's more expensive in Houston. Uh, 483. I guess it's not that much more expensive. So, I mean, it adds up. That's for sure. But let us go and uh, yeah, have some fun. See you later, ship. On your way rank number one we are number one all right we're gonna head to Houston uh, and then after that yeah I don't know we probably we gotta buy another ship at some point but I don't know if we're ever gonna get there at 800,000 right we, we need some bigger payouts or an 83 what, what was that for I saw that we must have paid some expenses hopefully the storms stay away because this is definitely a very heavy storm prone area. And we already saw two storms over here. You got to watch out for the uh, hurricane season. I don't know when it is, but <laughs> it's 100% around. Eco fine, money fine. We should look at purchasing some used ships maybe. Let's look at a used vessel. Oh, okay. Holy kamoes. Uh, what is this? The post Panamax container auction, 8 million. We would have to take out a loan. Choose a bid, choose a bid of 500,000 or more. I'll bid every other company. Be sure you have the money when the bids are over. So yeah, apparently used ships you can't purchase, I guess, with a loan. And it looks like we have a little bit of a storm here. High winds. Hopefully our ship stays okay. I think it'll be okay. We need to go to a, a shipyard potentially at some point. When we keep an eye on our condition of our ship here. It's 95%. Uh, so yeah. I guess we can repair the engine at any port. It's the hull that we have to go to the shipyard for. So that is very crucial. Our morale is still only 20 though. Like, how do we get that up? That's what we need to do. We need to get that up. Uh, we're 70% of the way there. I like the management stuff. There's a lot of cool management things. Uh, I do miss, I guess, driving the ship into port. Or navigating the ship into port. I think that was that's still the big thing I think I'm missing so far. But I think otherwise, I don't know. It's, it's different. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how it comes along. What's this? They got a lot going on. Global events. They got everything. Holy cow. There's a worker strike somewhere. What country is that in? We got a... Uh, I mean, just show me everything. Show me it all. We got strikes in Argentina. We got unloading delays because of what was a major accident, overturned vehicle. Yeah, those are still 40%, 50%. That's insane. Okay, so our ship delivered in to Houston. Uh, and yeah, and that's where we're going to end things. We got six and a half million. Nice. We're going to get a used ship uh, very soon. 
I think if we once we get 10 million, I think a used ship can come into play because then that'll give us enough money to purchase or to hire crew for this vessel. And then we can kind of go out there and we can have a couple of ships now making us money, which is very crucial uh, because all of that stuff. And we only have 27 points out of 5,000 that we need. So we got a lot of work to do. Uh, but at the moment, I don't feel like the competition's really killing us. Maybe, uh, you know, in a bit, things will start to ramp up. But yeah, it's uh, it's very interesting. I'm curious to see, see what your thoughts are on this one. It's much, much different than Transocean was, right? Like Transocean had the campaign and everything. This does not. It's more management style and different. But it kind of gets us back into the transport world, which I said I've always wanted to kind of get back into when a new game is released and now we have one so here we are so i'd like to know your guys's thoughts you know so we can continue or not and uh we'll go from there but thanks a lot for watching everybody have a great day